What the fuck? Oh yes! Awesome! Watch it. He awesome gets fucking murdered. Okay, can you do this once more? And welcome back to the channel, everybody, to episode two. Yes, I did not stop recording, and we keep going. I just died a very pleb death. But this is gonna be awesome! Nice, dude. I really dig the sound effects of this game. Woo! Yes! Yes! I like that. A lot. Uh, wait, was this the right way? I think this is the right way. We have here our... Oh, come on, don't run away. Oh, I can still steal it. Nice. No, don't, don't do that now. I can just do this then non-stop though, right? No, didn't get it this time. Yeah. Awesome. I really need to combo more with the claw and uh, regular attacks, as it seems. It makes no point to keep going with the dagger or with the saber. Uh, once the white bar is completely gone, you should switch immediately to to the claw. Oh, come on. I tried to... Give me whatever you have. Let me rip it out of you. Uh huh. Tiny puny. Oh shit! I forgot about him. Woo! Wow, uh, that, that is some weak sauce. And you give me that, please. Awesome. Thank you. Much appreciated. Can I please kill him real quick? Thank you. No, camera work is... <laughs> slap slap. The work of the camera is actually so far pretty good. But to be honest, it wasn't that bad in Elden Ring either. Only the moment you fight like in very small boss layers or the enemies were huge, then it became an issue. So... Yeah. I thought he was some of his attack sequence there. Spoiler, he was. Woo! Yes, baby! Man. Oh my god, against the fucking wall. Gimme. Give Gimme Give whatever you have, baby. I think this is the axe, right? It is. Nice. Consuming all my potions before even reaching the first enemy. Uh, the first boss, sorry. Jeez, dude. I mean, you can just probably run past all of these. I wonder what happens when you die and uh, you fuck. Amazing. And I have only a fraction of the skills unlocked. <laughs> Just because. Come here. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, poison build up. Oh, I actually wanted to hit. I didn't even see that. Guy. Good. I thought it's something that you can charge. Spoiler. You release it automatically at one point. Okay, I need three feathers for this, so this might take a moment. They resupply very quickly though, so that is nice. Come on. I just said you resupply very quickly. Was that a mistake? There you go. Okay, I guess this is the way to go and this is the secret passage. Looks like it. Is the poison itself? Okay, it's just a build-up, so as long as it's not completely full, I'm doing fine. 
I got what, like 14 hit points from that upgrade point written by Talenty? Come on, come on, come on. You can just... If it's just a build-up, I can probably just slap it, right? I told them I didn't know what's in the buckets, but they just kept asking, even requesting to speak with villagers who have worked in the tent. Okay. My nephew actually worked in a tent and he said that the buckets were filled with oddly shaped small creatures. But the circus folks are one of us, the tree blessed. So how could I possibly reveal the secret? Well... Uh, wait, can I? Okay. So we found some additional lore. That is always nice. I know some of you guys like that. Slap. Now, I don't try to collect everything, but um, I'm gonna check, like, you know, the obvious corners and stuff like that. Oh, you can even speed climb. Nice. Like, if we see barrels, we break barrels. Okay. Why does this look like a... No, this doesn't look pleasant. <laughs> oh, Mike! <laughs> that looks like a boss arena. Very small one, too. Okay, we had that one already. Let's see, let's level up a little bit. And you have even a beacon right in front of it. Man, I wonder what could go wrong. Black weapon. Oh, you need the shots for that. Knife, hand axe. Um, I think I take the hand axe. I find that one a lot. Yes, yeah, sure. And that one needs energy now. Cool. You know what? Let's just do this. Probably a mistake. Slash forward and... Oh, you could... Oh, there's multiple levels. I'm dumb. Okay. Slash forward and stagger the enemy. That's a lie. That's a lie. That did not... Okay. It does not. Slash these 250% attack damage and amount of wounds. Woof. Oh, and it has break enemy super armor. Again, one stack of enemy. Okay, cool. Jesus Christ. This one's cool. Level up. Um, play claw damage. But claw damage is already insane, man. Again, I'm gonna go for a more balanced build this time. And I got... Three talent points. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna... You know what? This will be tough. I will die a lot while learning that, right? Press it to again right after a long claw to perform a second attack. The second long claw damage is increased by 30%. That sounds nuts. Well. Boy, oh boy. Oh my god, that looks so fucking amazing. Got the stuff that you can learn, dude. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go with the claw. Oh, you can even give bleeding. Leaving wounds in them. Form a series of short range claw attack up to three. When hitting an enemy with the short claw, gain one stack of offensive buff. I think that sounds good. And there may be some deflect. Maybe not right before the boss fight, though. Okay. We have to dodge now. It increases the damage. After performing an execution, some health and energy will be restored based on level of the enemy. What?! I know I should not do this before the boss because it makes no sense. But I will forget about it otherwise. I increase the saber attack damage, never mind. Restore energy when hitting enemies with saber attacks. Okay, I'm gonna roll with this. Awesome. Yeah, alright. Ah, <coughs> oh, boss fight! Whoa, really? Okay, swing to three. Wait, I can't go out of here? Okay, this is not a boss fight, but... Give me whatever you have! That actually did stagger. One, two, three... Okay. That gives me a nice opportunity to attack there, though. 
that should be too short. I can't. Okay, I see. I can do the two, boy. See? Um. I mean. Oh, they have no range. Oh my god, look at that. That looks amazing. Give me that. Right out of your pocket. Okay, there's a follow up on that one, right? Yep. Give him a stagger. Okay. Let's finish him properly. Okay, this. You know, after the first guy in part one absolutely flattening me, I expected more? But you can see now the buffs are actually above my health bar. Nice. Potion menu. In the potion menu, Chorus can use an alchemy enhancer to increase the number of potions he can carry. Nice. The potion's health recovery and the number of ingredient slots on a potion. Uh, uh, okay. After unlocking the ingredient slots, Chorus can add different ingredients to the potion and gain extra effects. Dude, this is lovely. I like this. Chorus will obtain an alchemy enhancer after defeating more challenging enemies for the first time. Yeah, I got wrecked, dude. Hammer, skill shots. Oh, I get more. Hammer, skill shots, never mind. Yeah, but... O okay. Let's do this. Oof. First, we can level up probably once. Yeah, I'm gonna go with more strength. Then unlock talents. Sure, fuck it. Plague weapon. Um. But, okay. Strength, 4 out of 10. Where does it show how many I have? Probably here, 4 out of 10. It would be nice if there would be an icon show me how many I have. Hammer. I like the stagger on it, so why the fuck not? Cool. Ah, I see. I'm an idiot. Okay, now it's equipped too. I didn't do that. Great. Uh, potions. Long lasting potion, fast acting potion. Okay. I guess upgrade potions is all I can do here. Wow, o okay. Increase the amount of potions to four. I think I want that first. Dude, and there's still so much locked, and then I have the other two potions. Dude. Fuck. Nice. That consumes a shit ton of energy. Okay, I see the bridge there. I mean, this is not what the hammer is meant to do, right? No. There was the circus tent that they mentioned the whole time, though. Okay, I'm obviously blind. I am obviously blind. Easy. <laughs> Mike, how about you change the fucking door right next to you? Yeah, we could do that. Aw, uh, you fucker. Um, yeah, you fail. What do you have? First of all, it was super rude. Oh, yeah! Woo! I'm a cat, dude. For real, though. My god. What is this? Why is it highlighted? What is that? I can't interact with it. That's weird. Okay, I just uh, absolutely slaughtered these guys. Hello. <laughs> I could get used to this. Oh, I see that. How do I get there? Dropping down, dropping down. Okay, I see. Uh, the circus seeks to pure small size. Uh, flyers, runners, jumpers, whatever. If it moves, you take it. 
Okay. He's just looking at me. Hey, wake up. <laughs> okay, give me one. Nice. Can I open this? Can't open from this side. Alright. I see the ladder, no worries. Just wanna see if I... Okay, I can't interact with that one. Let's go up. Let's go up fast. Awesome. Hello? Somebody's gonna smack me? No? Yes, I heard that. Only you? <laughs> Not your day, I assume. Holy fuck. Alright, that energy stuff is... Pretty awesome. Where's the thing? Oh, I cannot sprint in there. Oh, I can't sprint in there. I can probably dodge through, though. I could also just go up and probably ignore that. <laughs> Which is, uh, yeah. Probably the way to go. Release ladder. I see. Shortcut. Nice. Collection of memories. Level 1. Consumable. Uh-huh. Uh, what the fuck? Oi, oi, oi. You okay there? Nice. Now you should be able to pass through. Okay. I wanted, I wanted to dodge on top. That was close. That should finish it. Yep, it does. Come here. And that should finish him too. Yep. Nice. Awesome. I really need to test if I can just... Nice. If I can just dodge through that uh, poison cloud. I don't think you can, but... Okay, clearly I can drop down here, but do I want to? Do I want to? So the level design so far I think is... It's okay. You know, it doesn't feel too repetitive regarding the props. I mean, you can see they have a couple just used over and over, but it's still okay. Uh, she's crying quite a bit. What was that? Fuck yeah. Alright, I still would like to know how to get into that extra room there that had some loot. Can't open this from that side. I hope I don't forget about it. Hey dude! You okay? I want to do the the upward dodge thing, but he seems to be kind of fucked. I think... I think he kind of glitched in the wall or something. Okay, that gives around 23 energy. <laughs> Nice, dude. I wish there would be there would be more like these executions because they look absolutely phenomenal. Okay, this is another. Oops, sorry. Oh no, we have returned a brand new program made just for you. The audience will feature acts such as Big Clown, Beat Rama. That goes for okay. No, I think we read that one already. Uh, climb. Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. Ooh, I definitely want to climb down. Get the beacon. Let's get the beacon real quick. 
Wait, is that the OG beacon? Can't open from the side. Well, fuck me then, I guess. But yeah, otherwise the game is pretty straightforward regarding, you know, how the whole system works. You collect stuff and you level up. Nothing, you know. I absolutely parry that. Maybe I can parry that. Parry this. Bitch. She almost fucking kills me though. Yeah, you... Okay, this is... This is actually kind of crazy. So you even have to time all the parries. That's pretty impressive. And this is actually not that easy to pull off. Goodbye. <laughs> yep. You did. Wait. So you did drop something. Dude, 150 is still more than enough. I don't feel comfortable to to get super low regarding my health. So another one here. That is just a pushover, I guess. Yep, pushover it is. This should bring us to the beacon. Jesus Christ, if I die now and I have to re-kill all of this here, this might take a while. So let's try not to die here. Ow. Really not. Oh, don't get caught now in the corner. That would be bad. I think... I want to finish the small trial first, if I could actually reach him, which I can. Oh yeah, dude, you're, you're not intimidated by that? Of course. I really tried to get the stupid parry down, but he attacks so slowly that I almost fall asleep while doing it. What am I hearing? I hear some flappy noises, and I don't like that. Flying enemy? Hey. Does this kill me? <laughs> nope. Not even close. <laughs> Bomb right through the back, dude. Lovely. But this is a point of no return. Oh, she is like. Okay. Oh, he is like. Okay. Getting some energy back while doing the normal attacks is really nice. Most of the work inside the tent is just moving those buckets around. Sometimes I can even feel the things inside of them still moving. Yeah, nobody is kind of. Hey, this is kind of sus. What the fuck? Oh, yes! Awesome! Watch it. He awesome gets fucking murdered. Okay, can you do this once more? Four, five, okay. One, two, super delayed. Don't get too greedy, Mike. Don't get too greedy. We're gonna hit him with the hammer next. Oh, he can't even... Okay. Doing good, though. One, two, three, four... Ooh, five! Okay. Oh, no. He's doing two. Yeah, yeah. I always forget that the last one is like the special. Not getting greedy here, no, no. Come on, do some. Nice, I want whatever he has. Oh, another alchemy enhancer. Nice. This skull shots. All right, okay. I got a little bit nervous there, I was like, okay, I'm running out of potions, and uh, suddenly intense music, I don't like that. But, it worked out. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hmm. And now I'm running in circles. 
because I kind of lost orientation while fighting that guy. We did not come from here. Maybe I can open this now? Maybe not. Everything looks pretty similar, I have to say, so... Uh, <laughs> I think I will get lost quite often. Jesus. Okay, I wanna see that... Wow. Alright, that is pretty powerful. That is pretty powerful. I mean, sure, those are just the small fries, but still. A collection of memories, consumables. You can probably buy and trade with them. Yo, but these beacons... Oh, I was just about to say, they... They're really far apart from each other. Okay, good though. Yeah, beacon found. We're definitely gonna level up with this one here. Let's see what we can do. Um... Hmm... Claw damage is nice. Yeah, true. Cool. Unlock talents. This is amazing. You can... You can unlock here really quickly. I love this. After for performing an execution, some health energy will from based on level of the enemy. Yeah, okay. You're gonna buy this one right now? Then deflect. When successfully deflecting attacks, the enemy counterattack gouge is reduced. I don't really know what that means, to be completely honest with you. Slightly increases deflect time, but decreases deflect damage. What? Slightly increases deflect time, but decreases deflect damage. I probably need this because I'm too dumb to learn parry. I don't want that though. This year, absolutely. This will be the last stuff that I will skill probably. That was pretty cool though. Let's see. Gain a second slot for plague weapons unlocked through skill shards. Mm. Extends the time taken before enemy wounds start healing when taking damage. I might take this one here. It's only 10%, 20%. What? When taking lethal damage and covers as one or more potions left, it will be used automatically. Ah, uh, can only be triggered once and is reset after resting. That's still nice, though. You know what? Okay. We can start building that up. Now, um... The Harbert... Fist, dude, the fist was amazing. That's probably super strong against multiple enemies. Smash into the ground and knock nearby enemies back. Deal 100% attack damage plus 300% amount of wounds. Alright, let's equip that. Potions. Upgrade potion. Yeah, dude, I would take that. Like, health recovery is... Oh, ingredient slots, though. So we can... You know what? Uh, I I'm curious what it is, guys. Craft potion. What the fuck? Ascent can lift the mood. Health recovery plus 35. Increase damage intake by 5% for 5 seconds. Okay. I can still upgrade here, but I might wanna save that, right? Oh, fuck it. I mean, I see these plague weapons here, but I... Use Forgotten Feather. I can't. Resume game. Nice. Awesome. Alright. Uh, I think I'm gonna call this an episode again. We're getting finally some combat done, some upgrades done, ascending a little bit more the game, which is awesome. And I have to say, I'm enjoying this a lot. Is it better than Elden Ring or Dark Souls? No. But it's still a very solid Souls game. I like it. 
So if you like these little Souls branded games such as, uh, you know, Mortal Shell and the other ones, so far I have to say I'm gonna give this a go. Nice. Alright, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Getting some practice in there and the combat feels already way better. Next up we have our first real boss fight and it will be a bit of a struggle. People who deserve some attention can be seen here, my patrons. Strong support, amazing people. Thank you very much my friends. Thank you for watching, we are gonna learn some deflecting in the next episode and it will be a little bit painful. I'll see you in the next one, until then, have a good day and bye bye.